Okay guys, I'm doing a swap out of the washer guards that go over the bumper. Um, most X-type Jag owners are familiar with this particular known issue where the well, plastic retainer actually one of the um, lugs breaks off and then you end up losing your quite expensive cover. So. This is how I just did the other one. I needed two. I was in the UK recently and uh, got a couple off eBay, color coded to the to the car. Thank you very much. I don't remember the gentleman's name, but I'll post it in the in uh, the comment section. So what I did, I got a coat hanger, regular coat hanger. Can't see the whole thing there. But all I did was straighten out the end, straighten out, and then to give it a kick. That's about a half inch. That's about 13 mil down there. Um, 90 degrees bend from the top. Remember the position oh, from the top. You put it in sideways like such and then hook right in the middle, right in the center. You'll feel where there's resistance. And just draw out, draw out the washer. And so you can see where I'm hooking there on the top. So now it's under a lot of pressure. So what I've done now is I've got a pre-sized set of mole grips in the UK, vice grips in North America, and I just crimp that and it stops the retract, or it should stop the retract to a point. I'm going to reposition that because it's not in an ideal spot. Now I do have some cloth or some rag here, but I found on the other one it didn't matter. I didn't, there wasn't any damage or any surface. Some people are perfectionists and they really want to protect their jag. So, now, we've got a particularly warmer day today, um, April 1st. This is not an April Fool's, by the way. I just lift up the, the upper and out pops the broken. There is the name for this, I just don't recall it. And there we go, I've got the broken there. I'm replacing that with the aluminum, or in the UK, aluminium one. So I've done the other side, I know it's uh, this works gently. I insert in the bottom. I do a little push down and flex on the top. And I have not adjusted or modified these. I've heard of some users, of some owners, have actually uh, rebored the holes. Um, they've cut the they've cut the ends down a little bit. I have not touched these. I found the first one went in pretty smooth. There we go. This takes a little bit. I've got the freedom there. Now. I come to put on the cover itself. Don't put it on upside down, otherwise you're doing it twice. And I found that you put the short side in first and then insert the long side, which has got a bit more flex on it. That's how I got success. Now it does need to be squared up a little bit on these. There we go, that first side is in. And now for the second side, gently persuade with a little brute force and ignorance. And this is the part that takes the longest. And just... It is bent quite a bit. You can't see that from where you are. I am just going to remove the camera so you can see just how much flex I've got in this. Hopefully you can see that it's quite flexed out right now to wrap itself around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and jockey that in. Unfortunately, I can't hold the camera there at this time. And that should go in any second now. And there it is, it's in. There we go. So now you can pull that out a little bit. Release the mole grips, vice grips, zero damage, zero mark. And I'm gonna let that draw in. And there you go. Job finished. That's two done. And this video is four minutes and 25 seconds long to this point. Done. Hopefully that helps. I've seen a lot of comments that uh, people don't know how to replace these. That is probably one of a thousand different ways, but that's the way I just did it. Two sides, 10 minutes. Done. Enjoy.